It is so super easy. So this recipe my friends love, and if there's ever been a quintessential 8G recipe, this is it. You get very good quality uh, salmon, and you chop it all up into many, many pieces, okay? Put it all in a bowl, then you take an 8G, put it in just a little bit of water, you slice some lemons, We're gonna put all the salmon in, okay? And then you add some Himalayan salt because essentially this is cooked salmon in the dishwasher. The AG, the lemon, and the salt will marinate into the salmon while the dishwasher is going from the heat. The salmon does need to be very good quality because it's almost like a lightly seared. So we now have the raw salmon. We've poured the Himalayan salt in and the 8G is, you pour it in, and then you literally just make sure that it's all as moist as possible. Now, I'm obviously doing this quite quickly, so you would do a lot more salmon, and then you pour it into a very much suction tight container, okay? I would fill it to the top with the salmon, then you dice a whole bunch of lemon and you put them around like this. Once it's full, you close it, it has to be absolutely suction tight. Then you put it in your dishwasher, I swear to God, best maternity nanny in England taught me this. And here, it's come out of the dishwasher cooked. And what's lovely about it, look at how suction tight it, tight it is. That's very important because the salmon is so cooked and it has these beautiful, beautiful marinated 8G lemon and sea salt. Mm. And you've done nothing. You've put it in the dishwasher and you're done. You can either prepare for the rest of the dinner or go hang out with your kids. You start with a little bit of grapefruit juice or orange juice, and this is what's different. You put the 8G in that. And the reason for that is that the 8G will have a nice um, fizz with the grapefruit, and you actually mix that with the fruit. Now, the fruit, you cut up peaches and mango and loads and loads of fruit. Once you put all this fruit in, I can't do it because you really need to fill the entire, you know, a good amount, that much with fruit. Then, once your 8G is, dis is dissolved in either the orange juice or the grapefruit juice, I prefer grapefruit juice, you pour it in and you literally just let the fruit almost marinate in it. Then, we've added gluten-free flour with raw oats, and a little bit of cinnamon, and it looks like that. Now, you take the bottom of the pan, I'm gonna show you the result, and you layer it. If you take the pan, and you take all this fruit that now has 8G, and you cover the bottom, and then you put this sprinkled on the top, and you put it in the oven, that is literally all that is in this. Check this out. I mean, it makes you weep. The reason it's so good is because of the moisture with the fruit, with the oats. Mmm, mmm. I mean, really. 
So, while we've been preparing everything, we have been slowly boiling peas in this pot. And what you do is they're very soft and mushy and you pour the peas into your blender and then you take mint and you can dice it up. You can just cut it, you know, just like that. You put it in with the peas. Now, um, when you were boiling the peas, you added your glass of 8G to the boiling peas. Then you also, you now have the boiling peas, the mint, and you've diced some onions, and you've put that in the blender. Now, you put it on your blender, mix it all up, and out, it's very straightforward, comes this pot. Takes half a second. It is a beautiful thing. So short. So, you now have salmon, soup, fruit cobbler, and we have to have some cheese after. All with HG. High nutrients, that way we can have some wine and some cheese and not feel bad. <laughs>